I live with my grandma and my great grandma there. We were told by my grandma that my dad was moving in for about a week because he didn't have anywhere to stay. And it's just pretty much been to my mom ever since. Any weapons or drugs on you today? No. Pacemaker, defibrillator, anything for your heart? Bring this foot up. Um, I was getting ready for work, and my dad was like, oh, I got him now, I got him now. He doesn't even know it. Um, he can't come back to this house because he had a protective order against me. I didn't really believe it because he lied so much, so when I went to work on break, I just called the sheriff's office. It was just a smart thing to do, and they let me know that I did have a protective order that he did file one, and I also had a one from my arrest. Bring this foot up. Rod, screws, metal piercings, anything in your body? No. I didn't even know what I was being accused of. So when I read the order today, the things that's on the order that he said that I did is the dumbest thing that I've heard. Stealing his blueberries out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna put you through a body scanner similar to the airport, okay? okay. Put your feet on those footprints, hands down at your side, and stand still. I didn't want to violate the protective order, and so I called my aunt and uncle, and I stayed at their house. And so my uncle actually brought me in today, and I turned myself mm -hmm. in. When I called the sheriff, she just said, "There, a warrant for your arrest for disturbing the peace." But I'm like, how am I disturbing the peace? in my own household. All right, watch your step, come on out. First of all, he didn't even buy the blueberries because he doesn't even have a job. So if the blueberries are in there, let's say I did. I didn't, but let's say I did eat the blueberries. It's my house, I can eat the blueberries. I work, I got two jobs. You didn't buy no blueberries in here. Did you ever dream that you could be potentially going to jail for eating a couple of blueberries? Eating make up blueberries that weren't even in the refrigerator? No because there was never blueberries in our refrigerator in the first place, so, yeah. And go right over there to cell five. I think another yeah, issue yeah, that my dad has with me is because I'm gay, so, yeah. so that's one of his biggest things. Have you met with the magistrate yet? Yes, he just said that my bond was $1,000. All I can do is call my aunt and uncle and see if they can bond me out. If not, I would have to, I guess, stay in jail overnight and see a judge tomorrow, from my, my understanding. Do you ever think that you might have to spend a night in jail? Never. I've never been in trouble, so this is not, I'm not, I have two full-time jobs. I'm not like a criminal, so this is, this literally threw me for a loop. Come on up here, you have all your fingers and fingertips. Yes. All right, let's get these finger punch done so we can finish this process so you can get bonded out. Just relax your fingers. Dr. Have you been able to get a hold of anybody on the phone? My aunt and uncle. Start here to bond me out now. Your thumb. The, the protective order, right. does that mean you can't be it? your house anymore? Yes, yeah, so the protective order pretty much says that I can't be at my house for a couple days. So yes, I stayed at their house because the protective order. So I cannot go back to my house until 12.01, pretty much right after midnight. I'll be able to go home. All right, come on up here for me. Just need your signature that I took your fingerprints. This is not an amendment of guilt. It's just stating that I printed you and those are your fingerprints. Are you going to look at blueberries different now? First of all, I don't even eat blueberries. Right. But if I see them in the store, I would just avoid them all, all, all together. Sign right here. We got your property back. You can take your phone. I got to go. I got you. Hold on. Oh, I got to give you your copy here. I did not think you could go to jail. Missing blueberries. Out that door and take a break. My next process is get out of here and do the same thing to him. But because I actually have proof. Him saying that I stole his stuff out the refrigerator, nobody's seen me steal it. That's in the household. So if you don't have proof, I have proof. So we're going to go to court. 
can get those up for me because I actually have proof and you don't. Know. Go secure those blueberries. Hi, Charlie. Well, I'm not going to touch another blueberry in my life. <laughs> no more blueberries for you. Control, you close 58 Alpha, open 58. How do you feel? Are you coming back? I ain't a criminal. Never.